Hello, welcome friend! My name is Annika, and today we're getting another sketchbook video, and this is my second sketchbook of 2017. And uh, yeah, and on the front we have two stickers from Redbubble and one of mine. And uh, this is by Dual Date here on YouTube, and this is Bailey J also on YouTube. And I will link to their channels in the description as well as in a little card here. Uh, but yeah, I've bought these to decorate on my sketchbook. And on this first side we have my name, username on Instagram and when I started it and when I finished it and who's the stickers by and uh, yep. Uh, so I started this one in the 1st of April 2017 and at the time Arted Up With Friends had a monthly challenge going with different prompts for each day and I sort of participated in some of the days and uh, here's At The Seaside which was the first day and I drew a little mermaid and a girl on a beach and a little seal uh, but sadly I don't think you can see it all that well because the purple color enoled that I used to sketch this with has kind of faded away and I've noticed noticed that the, this one in particular kind of fades on the, uh, on some papers if I don't sketch too hard uh, so that's something to consider uh, I do like that paint pen uh, but for sketches in the sketchbook it may not be the best but yep on the second day we had Woodland Fantasy Creature and I did some different kind of things and this is sort of inspired by the blue thing in Breath of the Wild, uh, the little cute thing. So it's sort of inspired by that one and uh, more things. And this is day three and Fantasy Rider and I did some different sketches for that. Then I just did random things, uh, nothing really special. And uh, day four was Creature of the Night, and uh, at the time I was playing Breath of the Wild kind of a lot. <laughs> so this is uh, a vampire playing the Wii U, uh, because that's the console that we play Breath of the Wild on. So. And uh, if you don't know it, it's the new Legend of Zelda game, when I'm recording this at least. Uh, so yeah, and uh, I, pl and I did a owl, sort of demon and vampire and bat and a little cat. And then we have some other creatures, characters. And, uh, and I had to do a little tribute to my friends a little dog who turned eight, so I had to do something for him. He's very cute. And day five was festival. Festival? Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. So I did sort of, first I was going with some sort of more, yeah, parade kind of festival, but I also made some concert type of things. And then I started sketching for ADC. It up with friends the steampunk theme so I did sort of a little thing this is sort of inspired by the controller for the Stargate in Stargate so but with um, mechanical things in the middle yeah it's sort of inspired by that one at least and a steampunk ship and here it is again but with uh, pirates and a little seagull there out on adventure. More steampunk things because I kind of didn't know what direction I wanted to go so I sort of did uh, a lot of sketches. And this one uh, which is sort of what I went with but uh, with a mechanical bird instead and I will have the one on the screen uh, so you can see but I also have a video for that if you want to watch me make the cards. Uh, there three cards in that video that I make and I will have a little card on the side or in the description if you want to watch those. And this one is something that I would like to do at some point, just haven't gotten around to it because I really like the character and the little robot 
thing. And here's some more, some more sketches. And these two are the one, two of the cards that I made. My mechanical heart lock thing and a, a lady waiting at the airship stop. And uh, yeah. And this one I've also made into a card, but later. But I, I'm not super happy with how the end result was, so I might revisit that idea again. Yeah, and this little cute character and creatures. And then I jumped back into Art It Up with Friends again for some of the days, and this was Mad Science. So I did, of course, a mad scientist and his creations. And then we have a mother's love, and I, yeah, did some hugging and a girl or boy playing, sort of inspired my, by my daughter, so. And then we have um, some creatures, just random things. Uh, so here's just more random things. And then day nine was a castle on a cliff. And I did different kind of thumbnails for that. I think every one of them has potential. Uh, so even though I didn't make any of these, uh, but I did sort of sketch out something similar to this. Um, but I haven't finished that one. But I, I, I do like coming back to my sketchbooks, which I've mentioned before, to find a new ideas uh, when I'm stuck. So this could be the spark of another illustration later down the line. So yes, and we have Winged Messenger, and uh, yeah, I was sort of thinking about. Hermes, Hermes, or something like that. The is it Greek god messenger thing? Yeah, some some old thing. <laughs> uh, and then a winged girl, and then more sort of steampunk looking things. But yeah, some ideas to come back to. And rainy day, and uh, yeah, this one is inspired by the old thing that I made. Uh, and I kind of want to redo the old one at some point, and I will have that on the screen, but yeah. And then we have some random things again. Nothing really special, and more just filling out the page. And then I did some Art New Vogue sketches. Um, playing with some ideas and these two are two cards that I made for Mermaid this year and I uh, will have those on the screen so yep and this is one of the early days of Mermaid as well I did a little mer bunny and I came back to this one as well because I like the cutesy feeling of it and uh, just sketching out mermaids because this is the second of mer May, <laughs> and uh, I was in full mermaid swing. Uh, so this turn one was one of the days, uh, but instead of a seal, we got a little bird thing, and these two also got in made into one, which is really cute. And then I was thinking about doing a um, mermaid uh, for May the 4th. Uh, so <laughs> I ended up doing an Ewok uh, because I, I actually really like Ewoks. So I ended up doing that one. But I did sketch out some f a few other ideas um, for what I could have made. And then we have these also, uh, but as I said, I decided I'm going with the Ewok because I liked how that looked. And then Art New Vogue was the theme for May and for ATC It Up With Friends. And I started sketching out some ideas for that one. 
Uh, but I went back to drawing mermaids again because that's what was on my mind. And this one got into, turned into a card because I was really inspired by the Dumbo octopus. Grimpotentis or something like that. Which is an actual octopus. Which is really cute. So I had to do something with that one. And uh, some steampunk uh, mermaids. Mechanical mermaids sketches and uh, more and this one got turned into one uh, I think yeah this is the very last of the mermaid cards that I made for mermaid um, I really like how that one turned out um, some more things this one is inspired by a uh, one-of-a-kind art doll that I saw on Pinterest and I have finished the card but I didn't it was supposed to be done in in May but I ended up finish it later on so I so this one this one is finished and some cute little couple and in the back I have the list for Audit of Friends, uh, which is if you, yeah I didn't mention it, but it's hosted by Papkins and Bad Alice Shop, um, Tabitha and Jordan, and uh, they every three or four months I think they host uh, the Audit Up With Friends uh, theme for the month, and it can be a really fun way to kind of get yourself drawing. So yeah, so I kept that in here so I'll remember. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this sketchbook. Uh, if you want to watch all my other sketchbooks, there are a playlist in the end. And um, I will be back with another one because I've, I've beaten my goal of doing more than six sketchbooks this year. I'm on my seventh for this year uh, so this feels really nice so there will be a lot of more sketchbooks in the future uh, but I've, I'm trying to space them out so you don't get too bored but yes so thank you very much for watching hey don't